The moment you've been seeking for so long has finally arrived. Your spiritual awakening, that profound shift in perspective, that piercing of the veil is now behind you. But what happens next? It's a question that rarely gets addressed with the depth it deserves. The truth is, life doesn't simply return to normal after such a transformational experience. In fact, you might find that life feels more uncertain, more raw and more demanding than ever before. This isn't something to fear though, it's something to prepare for. So we will dive into seven things you must expect after your spiritual awakening ends. The nature of your reality, the aftermath of a spiritual awakening is like emerging from a deep cave into dazzling sunlight. At first everything seems too bright, too vivid. The world looks almost too real, as if you've been wearing foggy glasses all your life and now they've been removed. But this clarity can be overwhelming. The real work begins when the initial glow of awakening fades and you're left to navigate a world that hasn't changed. Only you have. Your spiritual awakening doesn't end with a grand conclusion. There's no finish line where you suddenly reach total enlightenment. Rather, it marks the beginning of a new phase, one that's filled with its own challenges, growth spurts and even setbacks. Buddhism speaks of the dark night of the soul, a period where, after the initial awakening, one faces deep inner trials. This concept isn't about doom and gloom, but rather about integration and the tests that come when your newly awakened self faces an old world. After a spiritual awakening, questioning the nature of reality takes on a more profound and often unsettling dimension. This phase is marked by a deep sense of uncertainty, where the insights once experienced with clarity and awe begin to feel less concrete and more elusive. You might begin to wonder if the revelations were genuine or simply fleeting illusions created by your mind. This kind of doubt is not uncommon and is often referred to as the dark night of the soul in spiritual traditions. A phase where everything familiar seems to dissolve, leaving you in a state of inner ambiguity. What's crucial to understand is that this period of doubt and questioning is a natural part of integrating the awakened state into your everyday life. During the awakening process, many people experience a sudden surge of clarity, joy and connection. But as time passes, the euphoria can fade and the mind starts to reassert its habitual skepticism and fear. This is where spiritual practice becomes essential, not as a means to recapture the initial high of awakening, but as a grounding force that stabilizes you in this new, more nuanced understanding of reality. Practices like mindfulness and prayer take on a different role post-awakening. Rather than being used solely to achieve enlightenment, they now become vital tools for navigating this heightened state of awareness with steadiness and resilience. In this phase, these practices serve as your anchor, keeping you centered amid the fluctuating waves of doubt and insight. It's also important to recognize that spiritual growth is not linear. The path involves cycles of expansion and contraction, clarity and confusion, Questioning the reality of your insights is a sign that you are deepening your journey, moving beyond the initial phase of awakening into a more mature, integrated spirituality. The doubts are not a step backward, but rather an invitation to solidify your understanding, to go beyond the surface of spiritual experiences and explore their deeper implications. Sense of inner peace. The second thing to expect after your spiritual awakening ends is a deeper, more grounded sense of inner peace. In Buddhism, initial spiritual insights like those experienced during an awakening often bring a sense of joy and liberation. However, it is through continued practice, detachment from ego and consistent meditation that one attains a more stable and enduring inner peace known as upekha or equanimity. Upeka is characterized by a balanced, unshakable tranquility that remains constant even amidst external turmoil or internal doubts. While the awakening itself might have been marked by waves of intense bliss, sudden insights and moments of overwhelming love, what comes next is a quieter, more stable contentment. This newfound peace 
often comes with a sense of trust in the flow of life. Before your awakening, you might have felt like you needed to control everything, planning every detail, worrying about outcomes and pushing yourself to meet certain goals. But now, there's a shift. You realize that you don't have to force things to happen. Instead, you can lean into the natural unfolding of events, trusting that things are happening for your growth and benefit, even if they don't always make sense at the moment. This trust allows you to relax more deeply into life, letting go of the constant need to do and embracing a state of simply being. In this state of peace, your relationships begin to change as well. You're no longer seeking validation, approval or love from others because you've found those qualities within yourself. This doesn't mean you become distant or indifferent to the people around you, quite the opposite. Because you're no longer operating from a place of lack, you can show up in your relationships with more authenticity, compassion and presence. You're less reactive, more patient, and better able to listen without judgment. This shift often draws people to you who resonate with this newfound energy, leading to more harmonious and fulfilling connections. Another beautiful aspect of this piece is the sense of joy that arises from simple moments. You no longer need grand achievements or external successes to feel fulfilled. You find joy in the small things, a quiet cup of tea in the morning, the laughter of a loved one, the warmth of the sun on your skin. Life in its simplicity becomes enough. This doesn't mean you stop pursuing your goals or passions, but you do so from a place of wholeness rather than a need to prove yourself or fill a void. Your actions are guided by inspiration and love rather than fear or pressure. This deep inner peace also brings a heightened sense of clarity. Your mind, no longer cluttered with endless thoughts and worries, becomes a clear space where you can see things as they are. Decisions become easier because you're tuned into your intuition, that inner voice that gently guides you toward what feels right. You're less swayed by doubt or overthinking, trusting instead in the quiet wisdom that has always been within you. This clarity allows you to move through life with a sense of purpose, even if that purpose is simply to be fully present and enjoy each moment as it comes. Profound sense of connection. Another experience to expect after your spiritual awakening ends is a profound sense of connection, both with yourself and the world around you. During the awakening, you might have had moments where you felt like everything was interconnected, where the boundaries between you and everything else blurred. While those intense moments of unity might fade, what lingers is a subtle but lasting awareness of how connected everything truly is. You start to see people not just as isolated individuals, but as beings who are all experiencing their own journeys, struggles and growth. You understand that everyone is carrying their own burdens, and this understanding naturally makes you more patient, kind and non-judgmental. You no longer feel the need to compare or compete because you realize that each person's path is unique and valuable in its own way. This shift in perspective creates more harmony in your relationships and a sense of unity, even with those who might think or live differently than you. This connection also extends to the natural world. You might find yourself feeling more in tune with nature, noticing the subtle beauty in things you once took for granted, the rustling of leaves in the wind, the warmth of sunlight, the rhythm of the seasons. Nature becomes a source of comfort and inspiration, a living reminder of the flow and cycles of life. You begin to see that just as nature has its periods of growth, decay and renewal, so too does your own life. This awareness brings a sense of peace with the ebb and flow of your personal experiences, helping you embrace change rather than resist it. The sense of connection doesn't just stop at your relationships or nature, it also influences your sense of purpose. You start to feel that your life is part of a larger play, woven together with countless others. The work you do, the conversations you have, and even the small acts of kindness you show, all of these become meaningful because they contribute to this larger whole. Another aspect of this connection is a greater sense of presence. 
you find yourself more anchored in the moment, less caught up in the past or worried about the future. This presence allows you to engage with life more fully, savoring the richness of each experience without needing it to be anything other than what it is. It's a subtle but powerful shift, from constantly striving for something more to simply appreciating what's right in front of you. This doesn't mean you lose ambition or stop setting goals, but those goals are pursued from a place of joy rather than lack. This deeper connection also opens the door to synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences that seem to occur more frequently as you become more aligned with your true self. You might find that certain people, opportunities or ideas show up just when you need them, as if life is guiding you in the right direction. These synchronicities aren't random, they're a reflection of your alignment with the flow of life. The more connected you feel, the more you trust that life is unfolding as it should, even when things don't go according to your plans. This trust allows you to release control and flow with life's changes, confident that everything is working out in your favor. In spiritual traditions like Taoism, this is often described as being in harmony with the Tao, the natural order of the universe. When you're in this state, life feels less like a struggle and more like a dance, where you're moving in sync with the rhythms around you. Challenges still arise, but instead of fighting against them, you find creative ways to navigate them, trusting that they're part of your growth. This attitude of openness and trust makes life feel more like an adventure, where every experience has something to teach you, a more authentic self. The fourth symptom to expect after your spiritual awakening ends is the emergence of a more authentic self. After the whirlwind of awakening, where your identity and beliefs might have been shaken to the core, you start to rebuild yourself, but this time from a place of truth. You've shed layers of conditioning, societal expectations, and fears that once held you back. What's left is a clearer sense of who you truly are and what you genuinely value. This aligns with the parable of the mustard seed from the Christian tradition found in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Just as the seed grows into something far greater than its original form, our true essence is revealed when we let go of limiting beliefs, fears, and societal conditioning. In doing so, we create space for our authentic self to flourish and guide our life with clarity and purpose. Living authentically might lead you to make significant changes in your life. You may feel called to let go of things that no longer resonate with who you've become, whether it's a job, a relationship, or even certain habits and routines. Instead of living according to external pressures or outdated beliefs, you're guided by your own inner compass. This alignment brings a sense of freedom and joy because you're no longer pretending or compromising your values just to fit in. With this authenticity comes a stronger sense of purpose. You begin to feel more certain about what you're here to do. This doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a perfectly clear vision of your life's mission, but you'll start to notice what excites and fulfills you. Your passions and talents come into sharper focus and you feel more inspired to pursue them, even if they don't fit the mold of what society deems successful. You realize that true success is living in alignment with your values and expressing your gifts in a way that feels meaningful to you. As you live more authentically, you may also experience a shift in your social circle. Not everyone will resonate with the new you, and that's okay. Some relationships might naturally fall away while others deepen and grow. You start to attract people who share your values, interests and outlook on life. These connections are often based on mutual respect and understanding rather than superficial bonds. There's a sense of ease in these relationships because you no longer feel the need to hide or change who you are. You're free to be yourself and you allow others the same freedom. You're less interested in projecting an image that isn't truly you. Instead, you embrace your uniqueness, flaws and all. Another key aspect of this authenticity is that it allows you to embrace your imperfections. 
In the past, you might have been caught up in the pursuit of perfection, constantly trying to meet impossible standards. But now, you recognize that your imperfections are part of what makes you human. Instead of trying to fix or hide them, you begin to accept them with compassion. This doesn't mean you stop growing or striving to improve, but you do so from a place of self-love rather than self-criticism. You understand that you're a work in progress and that's perfectly okay. This acceptance extends to how you view others as well. You become less judgmental and more forgiving because you see that everyone is on their own journey. You recognize that just as you have flaws and blind spots, so does everyone else. This understanding fosters greater empathy and kindness in your interactions. You're more willing to meet people where they are without trying to change them or impose your beliefs on them. This creates an atmosphere of mutual respect and openness where genuine connections can flourish. Renewed sense of curiosity. You may also find yourself with a renewed sense of childlike curiosity. The world, which might have seemed overwhelming or complicated during your spiritual journey, starts to reveal its magic in the simplest moments. Ordinary experiences like feeling the warmth of the sun on your face, hearing birds sing in the morning or sharing a quiet cup of tea take on a deeper significance. You no longer overlook these small joys. Instead, you cherish them as precious reminders of the richness of life. This rediscovery often comes with a heightened appreciation for the present moment. Spiritual philosophies such as mindfulness and Zen teachings emphasize the importance of living fully in the now. After your awakening, you naturally begin to embody this principle. Rather than getting lost in worries about the future or regrets about the past, you find yourself savoring the here and now. Even mundane activities like washing dishes, walking in nature or cooking become opportunities to be fully engaged and at peace. This renewed sense of wonder can also spark a burst of creativity. You may feel inspired to express yourself in new and exciting ways, whether through art, music, writing or other creative outlets. The blocks that once held you back, like fear of judgment, perfectionism or self-doubt, start to dissolve, allowing your true essence to flow freely. Your creativity becomes a joyful expression of who you are, and it's often infused with a sense of playfulness and spontaneity. This isn't about creating something perfect or important, but simply enjoying the process of bringing your ideas to life. You may also notice a shift in how you perceive beauty. Beauty is no longer confined to what society deems attractive or valuable. It's found in the unexpected, the imperfect and the ordinary. You begin to see beauty in places you might have overlooked before. A crooked tree branch, the texture of weathered wood, the laughter lines on an elderly face. This expanded view of beauty enriches your life, filling it with moments of awe and gratitude. Part of this newfound joy in life comes from letting go of the need for constant striving. In the past, you may have felt pressure to chase big goals, achieve milestones or prove yourself. After awakening, you realize that true happiness doesn't lie in achieving some distant dream, but in embracing the journey itself. This doesn't mean you stop pursuing your passions or goals, but the energy behind your actions shifts. You're no longer driven by the fear of missing out or a desire for validation. Instead, you're guided by genuine curiosity, love and a sense of adventure. This phase can also bring a stronger connection to playfulness. As adults, we often forget the importance of play, getting caught up in responsibilities, stress and routines. But play is an essential part of life. It keeps us flexible, creative and connected to our inner joy. After your spiritual awakening, you may find yourself drawn to activities that simply make you happy, whether it's dancing, exploring nature, trying new hobbies or spending time with loved ones. This playful energy lifts your spirit and reminds you that life isn't meant to be taken so seriously all the time. One of the most rewarding aspects of this phase is how it positively affects your relationships. When you're more present, joyful and at ease, those around you can sense it. Your relationships become more genuine and heartfelt. An unwavering trust. 
the next thing you can expect after your spiritual awakening ends is an unwavering trust in life's unfolding. This newfound trust is not based on blind faith, but arises from the deep inner knowing that everything happens for a reason and that life's events, no matter how challenging, are guiding you toward growth and alignment. After an awakening, you might have experienced moments where life seemed chaotic, unpredictable, or even unfair. The journey may have shaken your sense of control, forcing you to confront uncertainties and embrace the unknown. Now, as you move into this phase, those uncertainties no longer provoke fear. Instead, they become invitations to surrender and flow with life. As you trust life more, you also let go of the need for constant planning and micromanaging. While it's still wise to set intentions and take practical steps toward your goals, you no longer feel the urge to control every detail. You become comfortable with the idea of setting your sights on what you desire, taking inspired action, and then surrendering the outcome. You realize that sometimes the best things come in ways you didn't expect, and by releasing rigid expectations, you open yourself up to even greater possibilities. Philosophies like Taoism beautifully illustrate this concept of trusting life's natural flow. The Tao Te Ching, attributed to Lao Tzu, speaks of Wu Wei, or effortless action, which involves aligning with the natural course of things rather than forcing outcomes. After your awakening, this principle becomes more intuitive. You learn that when you release the need to push, strive and control, you actually create space for the right opportunities, people and circumstances to come into your life. It's as if the universe starts to work with you, not against you, because you're no longer resisting the flow. This trust transforms the way you approach obstacles and setbacks. In the past, you might have seen challenges as things to avoid or resist, but now you recognize that each challenge is a lesson, a catalyst for deeper insight and transformation. This deeper trust also extends to the timing of events. In a world where instant gratification is often the norm, patience can be a rare quality. But as you become more in tune with life's rhythms, you start to appreciate the value of divine timing, you understand that not everything is meant to happen according to your schedule and that delays or detours are often a form of protection or preparation. Trusting life also means embracing change, even when it's uncomfortable. Spiritual growth often involves cycles of shedding old identities, habits and environments to make way for new ones. In the past, change might have triggered anxiety or resistance, but now you welcome it as a sign of progress. You see change as life's way of realigning you with your purpose and bringing you closer to your true self. Whether it's a change in your career, relationships or living situation, you approach it with curiosity and faith, knowing that every ending is also a new beginning. This trust also manifests as a deeper alignment with your intuition. You begin to rely more on your inner guidance than external validation. Whether it's making decisions, setting goals, or choosing how to spend your time, you trust the quiet voice within that nudges you in certain directions. Over time, you notice that when you follow your intuition, things tend to flow more smoothly and synchronicities become more frequent. This doesn't mean everything is always easy, but even when challenges arise, you feel assured that you're on the right path. Deep, compassionate connection. As you progress from the intense phases of awakening, you may find that your heart opens more readily to others. The barriers that once separated you, whether they were based on judgment, fear or past hurts, begin to dissolve. You start to see people not just as individuals with their own stories, but as fellow travelers on a shared journey. This realization fosters a sense of kinship and interconnectedness that transcends superficial differences. One key aspect of this deeper connection is a heightened sense of empathy. You become more attuned to the feelings and experiences of those around you. This empathy is not merely a cognitive understanding, but an emotional resonance that allows you to feel what others are feeling. 
Research in the field of neuroscience and empathy has shown that mirror neurons play a key role in our ability to empathize by allowing us to mirror the emotional states of those around us. This emotional resonance makes it possible to connect more deeply with others, leading to more meaningful and compassionate interactions. Whether it's joy, sadness or pain, you're able to connect with their experiences in a way that is profoundly validating. This empathetic connection often leads to more meaningful conversations and interactions as you approach others with an open heart and a genuine desire to understand. This new level of empathy also fosters a compassionate approach to conflicts and disagreements, Rather than reacting with defensiveness or judgment, you're more likely to respond with patience and openness. You recognize that everyone has their own struggles and perspectives, and you're able to address conflicts with a sense of shared humanity. This approach not only helps resolve misunderstandings more effectively, but also strengthens your relationships by creating a space of mutual respect and understanding. Another profound change is the way you experience and express love. Your capacity for love expands beyond romantic or familial bonds to encompass a more universal sense of care and kindness. You might find yourself more inclined to perform acts of kindness, offer support to those in need, or simply show appreciation for the people in your life. This expansive love is rooted in the understanding that every individual, regardless of their circumstances, is deserving of compassion and respect. This compassionate connection also extends to your self-relationship. As you deepen your understanding and acceptance of yourself, you naturally extend the same kindness and patience to others. This self-compassion reinforces your ability to connect with others without projecting your own insecurities or judgments. You're more able to see others through the lens of understanding rather than through the filter of personal biases or past experiences. You might also notice that your ability to form and nurture friendships and partnerships becomes richer. The bonds you create are likely to be more genuine and fulfilling as you connect with others on a level that goes beyond surface interactions. You attract relationships that resonate with your true self, leading to a sense of mutual support and growth. In this phase, you also experience a stronger sense of community. Your spiritual awakening has likely revealed the importance of belonging and contributing to a larger whole. You may feel drawn to participate in or create communities that align with your values and passions. Whether it's through volunteering, joining groups with similar interests, or contributing to causes you care about, you find joy and purpose in being an active part of a collective effort. This deepened connection and compassion bring about a new kind of fulfillment. You find that your interactions with others are more satisfying and enriching. You're no longer focused solely on your own needs or desires, but are invested in the well-being and happiness of those around you. This shift in focus enhances your sense of purpose and joy as you experience the rewards of meaningful, authentic connections. As you stand on the edge of this new chapter, it's important to remember that the end of your awakening is not the end of your journey. It's just the start of a different kind of exploration, one that is both more subtle and more profound. You're no longer seeking the big answers outside of yourself. Instead, you're called to live those answers in the here and now, even when it's messy, confusing or painful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.